Hello everybody, we are gonna make some bread today. I'm gonna show you something. I have like that. Pan. Yeah. Pancake. Yeah, you can use pancake pans. You can use also the other pans. I have two pounds for all purpose flour. I have two dessert spoons sugar, two dessert spoons salt. I have yeast. This is quarter ounce. And I will two packages, it means half ounce. So I have a little bit of oil. This is vegetable oil. You can use anything like olive oil, sunflower oils. Your bread is gonna be soft with the oil. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna put uh, into the water my yeast. So I'm gonna wait a little bit to activate a little bit and then I will add to my dough. Uh, in this time, I'm gonna wait my dough. I'm gonna mix all my uh, ingredients and I will make a little bit for yeast. After yeast activate, it's gonna be foam on top. I'm gonna see that and uh, add into my flour. Here, I will mix it. Make sure it will melt really good. Yes, good. So I'll put everything together. I'll mix everything. Sugar and salt. Mix it. Yes, our yeast is ready, activated, and then I'm gonna add into the flour, flour, and I will start to edge it. So I added the yeast. I will add little, little water. I'll see how Soft my dough. I'm gonna mix everything. Yes. Actually, it's easy. Just you have to be a really little bit patient. So, there is two ways when you are making dough. You can make everything liquid first, water, and all salt, oil, yeast, and then you can put little, little flour, or you can put everything uh, dry, and then you can add water, little, little. Sometimes, thanks to the flour, the water, how much water you will add, it changes, that's why, it's better to add little, little, just see how soft. So your, your hand is gonna be like sticky dough, but easy way to clean it. little bit flour put your on your hand and scratch it easy very easy simple 
after you made everything together like that you can continue on your table it's gonna be easier I'm gonna put and then into my bowl to wait my dough is gonna be bigger yeast is gonna be activated you can add a little bit flour for veg easy yes almost ready so how is gonna be ready I will see really good surface on my dough now it's not like that muscle oh if you have dough machine it's gonna be easier so but I don't have everything handmade everything homemade everything healthy everything delicious yes my dough is ready right here and I will wait to activate yes I put it into the oven I cover it with a towel, clean towel. I put it into the oven. I'm gonna wait uh, for like 40 minutes maybe. After 40 minutes, I'm gonna make little sheets and I will cook it on the pan. My dough is ready. I have a knife. Now I'll cut to the little pieces my dough and I'll use roller it took a little, like 45 minutes but uh, it depends your room temperature maybe more than 45 minutes maybe less than 45 minutes you know uh, as I said it depends your room temperature I put it in the, into the oven because oven is a little oven is a little warm warmer than room that's why yes I have a roller a little bit of flour or to make easy First of all, I'll make little balls like, like that. And then I'll start to open them. I'm trying to make same big all of them. I'm making a lot so I put into the freezer and then I use like whatever I need take off like each day I don't know how how much you need as much as you can you can you can defrost it in a microwave and use it or you can take it off before half an hour it's gonna melt itself now my those are ready let's start That big is enough. When you are making sheet, change your angle every time. Put some flour to so don't stick your roller. This big is enough. That way and that way. That way. 
That's good. Why you take the sheet? Don't use your finger because your finger is gonna be broken. Use your uh, out, out of your hand, like that. Oh, oh, it's easy. Use your hand like that. If my son here, he never allow me to open it. Hey, let me do it. Hey, hey daddy, let me do it. I will make it. I will help you. He's getting crazy. I think he's gonna be cooked too. He was in the baby chair and he cooked something, some menemen for us. I was making, but he never gave me the spoon for mix it. Now, we finished with the making cheese. I did like that big di like dish. And we're gonna start to cook, but before I cook it, important thing, I'm gonna make upside down. So top ones to the bottom because uh, at the bottom one is getting soft. So that's why I will put that on the top to the bottom. And I will start with that I made first. If it has like that lot of flour, you can take them off like that. And then, because it's gonna burn in the pan. So I'm ready, let's cook it. I will start to cook. I have a little broken here, but it's not, it's not a problem. See how it's bubbling? Not exactly tortilla, tortilla is a little, little more thin. This is close to pita bread. Yeah. We can we can say pitas. It's gonna be like soft, really soft, not like uh, really really thin like tortillas. This is not tortilla. Maybe one day we can make tortilla too. All right guys, my breads are ready. So I have like that flat breads. 
it's good for wraps and everything thank you for watching please don't forget like and subscribe and share it with your friends thank you for everything enjoy your breads thank you very much have a great day